السلام عليكم تاريخ Uh, did you completed the programs? Yes, yeah, I'm doing the program. I am audible. Yes. Okay. So today we will start on uh, CMD programs. Mm Okay, so first we will do a basic program. Uh, is the screen visible? No, not yet. Oh, sorry. I forgot to share. Okay, so now it is visible. Yes. Is font size okay or shall I increase? Yeah, it is okay for me. Okay. 
so first we will create class sample cmd curly braces open close public static void main It's supposed to be void main. It's just void mean. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here we have created a uh, class and here we are accepting an input from command prompt and displaying it directly. Okay. Your voice is breaking. Here we have created class that is a sample or sample CMD. Um, we are accepting an input from uh, keyboard that is from command prompt and displaying it on the command prompt directly on the screen. So first we will save it with the class name that is sample cmd dot java okay okay this error is coming can you recognize that why this error is coming sorry can you the class name is in uh, lowercase no okay this error comes when the path is not set as i said okay, we okay. set that uh, path temporarily so every time when we open the command prompt we have to set the fi path file uh, path file path mm -hmm. so udk file path right yeah yeah the bin Okay. Okay. So the error is gone and our file has been compiled. Here we can see sample cmd dot class now while uh, running the uh, command line argument program we have to attach the input that we have uh, inserted in the program so we have here zero so we have to add one in. okay so there was sample c If I uh, don't give any input 
it will give an error just c exception is main uh, array index out of bonds exception so we have to give an input okay are you getting are you there yes we can pass uh, any uh, any data type right uh, if you want to pass this uh, number as well it will take no it will only accept as string as only string na yes okay. only string uh, so and what we, are, we need to pass number then we we'll... okay i'm giving uh, i'm showing that too no, we have to do type of right because it is string variable. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So now we will try an addition program. So here we are declaring a variable and a comma b comma sum okay now we are accepting the input in a now it will give the error that uh, integer has been uh, assigned a string so we have to type here integer dot parse int this will convert the string to the integer okay so i Some yeah. Some CMD is the class name. No? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now Java C some CMD dot Java. Java some cmd if uh, as now we are accepting two uh, two inputs at the time of at the runtime so if we give only one input it will give the same error as above mm -hmm. so we have to give the two numbers Okay. okay, I have uh, one doubt here. Yeah, say. Uh, we have declared the sum as an integer. Yes. Right? We are not doing uh, converting that integer to string for this. Yeah, it's uh, it's not required. We are uh, it's not required have... for. Yeah, we are just printing the statement. You are getting the point. Your voice is breaking. We are just printing the statement. We uh, we don't re uh, require any data type for printing the statement. Okay. 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 Understood. Okay. So now we will try some 
other programs. So now we will try this program. Um, find out whether a number is odd or even. Wait a minute, I will I am just changing the net enter connection. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Okay. So now we are doing this one. Okay, for comments in Java, we use uh, double slash. Mm -hmm. Okay, first we will create class odd even. Abhishek, did you try to solve the programs? No, not yet. I haven't get time to solve it because I have that uh, client demo today. Okay, okay. I'll I'll do that in the uh, in the weekend. Okay, no problem. Hmm.
Okay, and there is an error. I left the semicolon. Okay. So uh, we give the input number 10, then the number is accepted here in the end. It is then uh, inserted in the condition and mod 2. Uh, in programming, when we use and mod 2, it gives the remain, uh, reminder as the output. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if uh, so in the condition it checks if the reminder is equals to zero or not if it uh, if it is uh, if it is equal to zero then it gives the output or uh, else there is else part Okay. okay now we will try this uh like uh, you are there yes sir, i'm here uh, you're not speaking i thought you are gone or not Okay, so now we will try this prime number program. Okay, shall I type it or uh, copy paste? Yes, yeah. yeah. It is fine for copy. That's fine. Okay. Okay, in this uh, prime program, they have used the uh, class and uh, object method in which they have created a void prime and it is called using this uh, ob its object p dot prime. The class name is prime number. Uh, there is a function void prime. Uh, which accepts an integer so here this is object of prime class and they called the um, function prime with an integer That time of compiling the it is not case sensitive as you can see mm -hmm. here i have typed p in small case and it is saved using capital case but while you are mm, doing this uh, running the program it it is case sensitive It shows the error mm -hmm. that there is no class file. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we have to give an input, so it gives an exception. 
that is a uh, index out of bond so so this program finds the prime number from one to the number which you have inserted so we can type any number such as 30 okay so it gives every number that is prime inside the 30 mm -hmm. so next we will try fibonacci series uh do you know about Fibonacci series or shall I explain about that? Mm. Uh, can you show the pattern for Fibonacci series? Okay. Yeah. This is the Fibonacci series. If <clears throat> okay. So it starts from zero then uh, first two numbers are constant then the third number is addition of first two numbers okay okay and the fourth number is the addition of uh, previous two numbers the two is addition of one and one three is addition of two plus one five three plus two eight is five plus three and so on so on so mm -hmm. You will try it. Okay. Uh, you can code with me. Sorry. Um. You can do the coding with me if you are not. Uh... Okay. Uh, meeting will end in 10 minutes okay Uh, are you typing? Uh, yes. You can type copy paste and just explain the uh, main logic. Then okay. That will be fine. Thank you. 
okay there is an error it is saying uh, on line 39 here कंडीशंस आर चेक आफ्टर द प्रिंटिंग ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट ओके देर वॉज एन एक्स्ट्रा करली ब्रेस so we have missed an input okay so we have to insert the last number that should be in the series so if we enter uh, Thirteen. Okay. Mm. Here, they have in uh, accepted one input. declared a b and sum and n four variables and used do while first they printed sum of a plus b that is 1 after that they have printed a comma here then they have used the swap method That is, a is equals to b. Uh, a has been interchanged with the b, and b is interchanged with the sum, the value of sum. Are you getting? Hmm. Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. so this is a uh, expenses this program uh, calculates the total expense and applies 10% discount on the expense 
if the price is greater than 100. Here they have mentioned if the price is greater than. Mm -hmm. It's just a simple program. Okay, here is in space. If we save it using uh, with the space, there can be an error while running the program. Okay, so Java C expenses dot java mm -hmm. there is a mistake in the spelling okay I have entered the value that is uh, approximately 10,000 and it is uh, it applied 10% discount that is now 9,000. It is just simply doing the calculation that is P. Uh, P is the input. It is subtracted from P into 10 slash 100 that is a from formula percent. If we enter any amount that is below 100, it will go in the else case and there will be no discount. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will stop here and the meeting will end in one minute. As a... Okay, thank you. Okay. We'll continue tomorrow. Thank you. Sure. Any doubts? No, no. Record.